So, uh, stamps, grip, presentation. The next one, sight alignment, right? Sight alignment. These things on a pistol. Yes, sir. It will. Yeah. Um, can you talk about a little bit about that? Is yeah, it's not going to impede the function. Yeah. Nope, it's not. It's yeah. not. It's don't worry about it. Okay. Yep. It's not going to impede function or or your uh, your platform at all. Yep. I mean, I I, I know mine does, uh, but the grip is here, right? So it's right there. You're not really pushing against it this way, so you're not going to like self-induce a malfunction because there's not enough pressure there with that hand or thumb. It's fine. Yep. That's fine. Uh, sight alignment. These things on a pistol are not a design flaw. Mm. Front sight, rear sight, even amount of space on both sides, flat across the top, all emphasis on that guy right there. Sight alignment. Who's using red dot? Red dot, red dot, red dot. I've got one in my... So most everybody's irons. All right, cool. Because right, we'll, we'll talk red dot too if you want to at some point. All right, the next one is trigger control. The fundamental here is control, trigger control. So, how much finger, when it comes to trigger control, how much finger should we put on the trigger? How much finger, finger, finger? Right, that's what a lot of us were taught, right? Splitting the distal phalange, because that's so much fun to say. I was taught that decades ago. But you know what I'm gonna call that? I'm gonna boldly, Call that an anachronism taught through institutional inbreeding. That's what I'm going to call it. Now let's let's draw an analogy here. Let's be analogous. If, if tools, when we do this, split that distal phalange, we have that big gap right there. We have created a fulcrum where we cannot help but to be fast on the bottom part of that fulcrum. So I'm going to suggest just get rid of that gap. So watch that finger. Yoink! Get rid of that gap. So from here, yoink! Get rid of that gap. Because now we have a vice. Vice. We want that vice. The fundamental, after all, is control, right? And I will also state with impunity that trigger control is king daddy of all fundamentals. The reason I can state that with impunity is because I, I, uh, I can't see these things anymore. It's all a big blur. <clears throat> Some of you are there. The rest of you will get there. I have been trying something, though. I have been trying... Uh, some some low power uh, prescription. <laughs> I was noticing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, so it, it you know not not bad, not the best solution, but yeah. But, so trigger control. I got a question. Yes, sir. You're saying it's, it's this gap rather than it, it, it's going to be different for everybody depending on the the length of your finger. Yeah, we just want to get that gap out of there. Let it go in naturally. Right. Yeah. We want to get. We want to. We want to eliminate that gap. <clears throat> um, and then last of the fundamentals is follow through. Sight, 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 squeeze, 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 boom, the gun fires, it cycles, chambers another round, realign the sights, reset the trigger. Reset, realign, reset, realign, reset. Cool! Questions up to this point? Tracking? Alright, so I'm going to explain the first drill and then we'll go down and I'll reiterate it and we'll, we'll shoot it. So just some real easy warm up drills initially. Um, the first drill we're gonna do when we go down, we're gonna be up close to seven yard line and uh, it's gonna be single shots from the ready position, full magazine. So boom, back to the ready. Boom, back to the ready, etc. Yep, full magazine. Emphasis on the big five. Grip. Presentation, say alignment, trigger control, follow through. Emphasis on those right there. Good? Good. Cool. So if you would, grab four mags or enough rounds for four mags in case you don't have four mags. Uh, so we'll do it because after four mags work, we'll come up and take a break, etc.